Rice flowers are blooming in Western Kenya's Ahero irrigation scheme, and Paulo Diambo is a happy farmer. After 35 years, he's trying out a new kind of hybrid rice. He's excited and nervous at the same time. The previous rice I planted was very sensitive to diseases, so this yield is little. Since I planted this rice, I already see signs that I'll have a good harvest. Dozens of different varieties of the locally bred rice are being tested in farms in Western Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda. Here farmers tell us the new seeds are not only tolerant to high temperatures, but diseases as well. There are however concerns that the seeds cannot be replanted. So a farmer, if he spends, let's say, uh, 30,000 shillings for seed, he's going to make an additional 60 to 80,000 shillings in profits a two or two and a half or three to one return on investment. So yes, it is more expensive, but the value proposition is very strongly in the favor of farmers. Hybrid rice is not new to Kenyan farmers, but most of it is imported from Asia and not quite adaptable to the climate here. In Africa, only Egypt has succeeded in developing its own local hybrid rice. Farmers here say the one thing that is encouraging them to plant the hybrid rice is its potential yield, which can be four times more than other varieties. They say this should be enough for their families and a good sale. But it's the middlemen they're worried about. Elias Opio knows nothing else but rice farming. A good harvest gets him around 10 bags, which he tells us he sells at a throwaway price. The industry in this area is highly unregulated. The middlemen come to get rice from here. We have no one to protect us, so they buy it so cheaply. But when they sell it, they make a lot of money. We end up being the losers. Opio says farmers also need better prices for their produce, better milling facilities, and a bigger share of a market that is dominated by rice imported from abroad. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Western Kenya.